What's up guys? Ice Toad here. So in this video, my dog G-Baby and I are going to be running the Chaos Sanctuary. In addition to such, we's going to slam some shit. Now this is my Barbarian, he's level 81. This Whirlwind has been a pretty good time. The funk? I don't know who this guy is. <laughs> but, anyway, um, yeah, many of you who have been following Ice Boy for some time know that have I even ever had a fucking Whirlwind Barbarian? Let me know in the comments below. I'm not sure if I have. And who the toad got that Grand Charm? But, okay, but the thing is, hot damn. All sorts of goodies and shit everywhere. So I found an Um Rune and Pull Rune in here. I found a J Rune. The J Rune fell. Uh, somewhere over by Lord Desais. And a couple other things, man. I gotta show you the gear. But look at his damage. This is with my... Oh, shit. Another charm. This toad is just pinching him up, man. <laughs> this is bullshit. But... <laughs> it's chill. <laughs> Yee. Yeah, I want to see that. So he has himself, as you guys can see. What the fuck? Oh, there's two droids. Okay, there's two droids. One of the droids is uh, is a werewolf one. Look at that damage. Pretty good. Pretty good damage right there. So, but I found something else decent, man. I just can't remember what the toad it was. What was that? It was something decent. I mean, the oh, I found an ohm rune. And that was, the hell did I find that? I think it was somewhere around here, man. It was either in the River of Flame or it was in the Cast Sanctuary. This was just like a half hour ago. It's in my stash. I'll show you dogs in just a minute here. But yeah, this Barbarian, man, look at that. 7,600 damage. And he ain't even getting started yet. And I'll show you why. I need to get an IK armor with maybe three sockets in it and put three times enhanced damage jewels in that slug is what I'm fixing to do. <laughs> no thanks. For Paul? I actually have another one in my in my uh, on a mule somewhere. I'll take that shit for free. Uh, the Mastery GC, I think they're, uh, they help. Yeah, that was slow as fuck. <laughs> Yeah, that was slow, man. But, you see, the Mastery GC is nice. I mean, for one, this stuff's important. Defense is important. Yeah, maybe we'll do a map in a minute here. Um, or should we just do a fucking map? I'll show you his gear. Look at this. This thing's a slug, and I need to Larzuk puzzle this thing, and maybe put a bunch of enhanced damage jewels in it. I don't know. Some cheap ones. Or just max damage cheap ones until I can find, uh, you know, better ones than that. And here's uh, here's the IK Helm. Body armor has a light res slam, which I don't really need. Oh, I guess he doesn't want to hang around. But nonetheless, that's, that's the stuff, man. Look at this shitty amulet. So... I'll hit you guys up in just a minute here. What's up guys? Ice Boy here. So here we is back in the game. And we's gonna slam some goodies here. He has an Indarial's Visage. A very notable Boson Helm. I haven't touched that bitch in a while. The Boson. Because, like I said, man, I think Multishot has received the shaft up the tail just a little bit, all right? That shit only shoots 15 feet in front of her, and then Day's arrows poof. So, is she really an archer? If she can only shoot 15 feet in front of her, the enemies 
can hurl their spears further than them damn arrows go, okay? So let me know in the comments if she's an archer or not. But that's why Fatboy uh, hasn't really been playing with that women so much. I'll give her a little bit more attention soon here. Hell yeah, I do. My ring's a piece of shit. Look at the rings. <laughs> That's all I got. Yeah, I know. It didn't go by way at least. So here's Flesh Ripper. Still maybe a Toad uh, Uber item still. Yeah, who the hell uses Flesh Ripper now? And is there actually a Blades of Ice Assassin in Project Diablo 2? A Lightning Pierce and Castor? Are you kidding me? This thing's a slug. Yeah, this is a slug, this shield. It gives PDR percent, 8 percent, and base PDR and base MDR, man, and all res, replenish life. Uh, this shield is, a, is an absolute hog. All right, so I'm sliming all sorts of shit. Oh, <laughs> uh, Meiji went bye-bye. Okay, so did he, is he hooking me up with these rings? Holy shit. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's too good, man. I can't take them rings. Not as a handout. Yeah, them rings too good. Keep them. I got better ones. Yeah, I'm not going to keep that shit, though. Thanks, dog. <sighs> Okay, so I'm going to slime tile Amy. Oh, and then there's BK ring. Yeah, I know. Just one socket in the shield. Uh, tile Amy is it's pretty good. I don't know how tile set is, however. Uh, some folks are bitching about the teleport nerf for the sorceress. Uh, how, technically speaking, it's slow as fuck. For those of you who don't know, it's now on the lightning cast frames. However... 117 is not equivalent to the old school 105 cast rate. So you dogs got to keep that in mind. Yeah, that's not very good, but but it's good enough. And a BK ring. <laughs> one more shard. Yeah, just one more. Okay, we'll slam one more item. Unless if he has more shards. Yeah, 12 light res. I mean, it's equivalent, uh, you know, to one charm space, basically, for the res that you get out of it. For an 11 res small charm, you know, a little bit more than that. Uh, I'd like it, but I ain't taking no handout. Oh, it's not a handout. Oh, in that case, maybe I'll take that shit. <laughs> uh, probably not, right? I probably won't take that. Oh, okay. We got another. We got another shard. Um, I guess I'll slam. You gotta slam that Scalder's ire. I'll slam that Scalder's ire. The MF ranges on it, uh, I think that's new to PD2, isn't it? Let me know in the comments below. I believe that's new. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely new. Uh, it never would roll uh, just one MF per character level. It would always roll 1.5. So, one socket. What a shitty slam. But, I mean, at least you don't got to waste Larzak on it. Uh, probably just a Guardian's Angel. But Guardian's Angel kind of sucks now. Let's take a look at it. See, it doesn't give all res. It gives a shitty max res. Uh, to be honest with you guys, to help with this item. Uh, what is that even worth? This is pretty hog uh, because there's the throw barbarian now. But this, you, you really can't go wrong with these boots. Let's see which one's better. I like that poison res. Okay, 50 poison res right there. 48 life. Wait a second. Oh, these are different boots, dumbass. Dumbass. Oh, wow. Water walks now give 40 FRW. I didn't realize that. That's cray cray. Yeah, this is a hog armor right there, too. Look at that. And it gives one to all skills now. This is a hog armor. 
In fact, we'll slam that. Now this is just pretty cool for a Merc, and really that base PDR, that shit really adds up. I'm looking for a clean body armor IK, and I've been offering my um pull for it, but uh, no one's taken the bait. Oh! Yeah, I'm, I'm looking to... Uh, I'm looking to do that, but check it out. I have a bunch of stat points left over. And look at all the skill points. I have 23 left over. You dogs know that that's Iceman's style. So, nonetheless, if you guys will like the video, hit the thumbs up button. Become a patron if you want. We'll run a little bit of a map, just real quick like. All right, my dogs. So here we is now running this map. Flagathon? Is that how you say that? But see, here are the stats. So we have negative hit recovery and chance to block. I ain't blocking because I'm a maul wielding barbarian. Enhanced damage the monsters have. They lifesteal. They do all sorts of shit. Come on, dog. Let's join up. I ain't fixing to do this on my own. Here he goes. All right. Oh, look at that. An F Thresher. That's a slug right there. And you could uh, you could make that one weapon the obedience weapon. Which I think in PD2, uh, I don't think that's been nerfed at all. Obedience is, is, a, is a pretty hoggish weapon. And as for Inflame or Enchant, uh, I'm not sure if changes have been done to that. I think they have. Ooh, look at that. But check it out. IK armor actually uh, casts a high level. Oh, it's enchant. A level 28 enchant. So that's pretty damn good. So this map, I've been running this a lot. Um, relative to how many maps I've been running, which hasn't been many at all. But this map is pretty toad, and I was running this with my Poison Necromancer. Which there are some poison immunes, there's these guys right here, the zombie things. I think that's those are the only poison immunes here. Uh, I don't know if there are physical immunes. So you got some lightning immunes, some cold immunes. But this barbarian, I mean the truth is he's a little bitch, you know? Like, look at his damage. And he's not hitting everything, although he has a 95% chance to hit a lot of these guys, hot damn. Uh, in which case, maybe I don't need to put an Ethrun in this mall. I don't know. I was considering uh, putting an Ethrun in the mall, although it will help against bosses and uniques and champions, because I probably don't have a 95% chance to hit them. I'm almost certain of that. But he has a lot of AR. Check that out. Uh, some of it has to do with his Inflame Aura, or his Inflame, his Enchant Enchant. You know what I'm saying? That adds a lot. Oh, attack Raven. Attack Raven is just godly. You gotta have that shit. But yeah, I really do like putting at least one Ethrune, I think, because is is what I'm gonna like to put an Ethrune in that mall. I'm just fixing to get. Oh. Oh damn. The droid. Oh damn. <laughs> Calls himself a dumbass. Oh, hot damn. Was he going after that? I got it now. Maybe I'll pinch that gold. Yeah, this shit is hard. Holy sh... Hot damn. These enemies thick, but... That's what you get in these maps, man. And I haven't tried them all that much, right? I haven't indulged like crazy amounts into these maps. I've I've just been running the Cast Sanctuary, been running the Pit. I just like messing with my characters and just seeing how optimized I can get them to run areas like that. Uh, and in other cases as well, maybe the World Stone Keep, maybe uh, maybe some of the other 85 areas now, like the Megat Lair, the Stony Tomb, things like that. All right, we got this other dog here now. Hot damn! Look at this shit. I don't know how hard it gets. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have uh, have any idea 
like how do these maps compare to Project Diablo 2 maps? Comment below your thoughts on that. I found one godly wrist blade. I identified it and my loot filter shows its name all in purple and really big. It's uh, because I think it gives two to assassin skills and then maybe two or three to like lightning sentry. So it's a, it's a really nice one. Uh, I don't know how lightning sins are. I know fire sins are, are damn fine <clears throat> in PD2. But let me know in the comments if you dogs have any idea how well the uh, the lightning sins are. Uh, I remember when they first announced PD2 and they started announcing skill changes and things like that. I was excited over the chain lightning sentry, but I mean, from what I've heard, man, this is just a little frog who told me this. He said that chain lightning sentry is shitty. So, I mean, I kind of took that as uh, maybe it is, but I don't know if it is. I haven't tried it out yet. That's why I'm fixing to hear from some of you guys. Let me know in the comments below, is the chain lightning sentry shitty or not? Uh, because I think chain lightning is an epic skill in terms of its mechanic. But the problem is it's always, it's always been subpar, I think, to other skills that the sorcerer possesses, even a lightning sword. I think often charged bolt. Yeah, we got it. Oh, dumbass. Wow, what a dumbass. I wonder if they're going to be able to get to my body. Okay, there they are. Fortunately, they might have been following me around. Hot damn. Dumbass. What a dumbass. All right, there we go. Yeah, I got to stick together. I also gotta uh, take advantage of a lot of these skill points. Like, because uh, look at this, man. This is this is bullshit. It's just doesn't Warcry suck or doesn't Bo suck? Look at it. You get fifteen life per level. Is that really worth putting twenty points into? Let me know in the comments below. I just put two in right there. Here, watch this. I'll put one in. Then I'll do it again, you see? I just don't know if I should waste points on that. I mean, I probably will. Because you can, uh, every two points into Iron Skin, for example, adds to damage reduction. See that? Every two base points. And here's his, uh, where's his DR? Damage reduction, right there. 839, so let's go 1, 2, 40. Holy shit, it's 40%. I, I don't know how it's 40%. Because the helm has eight. Where the hell does it get the rest? The belt no longer does it. Look at the belt. Does it? Oh, it does. Oh, that's odd. It doesn't show it as the gold set bonuses, however. Yeah, that's odd. Okay, so it still does give a ton of DR. So, uh, so yeah, this barbarian is thick. Yep. He thick. And there's a boss in this area. It's kind of like, uh, yeah, a Nat set really sucks. They just they just really nerf the resists on it and the DR. It gives like 30 resol, I think, now instead of 50. And it gives shitty DR. Or maybe 20 DR instead of 30, something like that. And just the blade shield doesn't blast the blades around like how it does in uh, Path of Diablo. So I just, I haven't really had interest in playing the Assassin. But I'm curious what you guys have to share about your experience with the Assassin. Because I, I've been thinking about making one. In fact, I wanted to try the Whirlwind Assassin with the Chaos Claw. Because it now has a repair mod. Uh, one of you dogs actually hit me up on YouTube saying I could use your claws in a video, but I just, I kind of want to work my way toward it is where I'm at right now. Maybe eventually I will just borrow them and, uh, and make a video with them, make a roll with an assassin. But yeah, this is the map. So the boss here is kind of like a uh, pit lord, I think. Uh, 
I've never had to solo him because all the times I've done this map, I've been running it with some of my boys. So I don't know how that boss compares. But yeah, the stats in this map, as you guys know, I mean, it's probably the most difficult map I've ever done, which isn't saying shit because it's it's really not a, a very uh, complex map. My goodness, look at all those tornadoes or twisters. They're, they, they're twisters. Yeah, twister is a... Uh, it's, a, it's an improved skill in Project E2. You blast a lot more of them, they all stun, they travel faster. I believe all three of those effects have been enhanced. So Twister's godly. But yeah, nonetheless, if you guys will like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Become a patron if you want. Thank you for supporting me as you have. Uh, thanks to my patrons. I. I have been investing in garage gym, so I'll be making some videos on that. I have a pretty godly stereo setup in there that I'll show you guys in a future video. And uh, links in the description below if you guys want to support my channel. Peace be with you.